something new, something old. And this famous statue of Drake at Plymouth Hoe symbolizes not only our great seafaring tradition, but also a game he made famous, bowls. Few people haven't heard the story of the game he refused to interrupt as the Spanish Armada approached. Today, with the introduction to this country of the American 10-pin bowling, our own traditional game is enjoying a revival in popularity, one that is being fostered by an indoor bowling green at a Bogner holiday camp. With this apparently simple but nevertheless revolutionary innovation, the game can now be played all the year round. And while the experts might be conscious of the playing qualities of matting as opposed to grass, it does still provide an excellent opportunity for people who would not otherwise have the chance to try their hand at the game. Someone who should find the game to his liking is snooker champion John Pullman but there are certain similarities between the two games. The rules are, of course, too complex to explain in the limited time we have, but the main object is to place the bowls, or woods as they're called, as near to the white ball, or jack, as possible. Each of the woods has a bias so that it can curve round a group of others to get at the jack. Bowling is generally considered to be second only to archery as the oldest of English sports, but there's certainly nothing antiquated about this very skilled game. In fact, it's something in which one has to participate to appreciate. Try it and see.